Hello everyone, a very good morning, very warm welcome once again to the YouTube session brought to you by Baiju's exam prep. So yes, today we are going to discuss multi-programming with fixed partition techniques. So this is a very interesting, very important conceptual topic that we call multi-programming. But yes, definitely before starting off with our class everyone, one quick confirmation is needed. Is my voice perfectly audible to you all? Is PPT clearly visible? Screen okay? Everything is perfect. Perfect. So one confirmation is needed so that we can definitely proceed with our session. Yes, please. All the students quickly join, quickly settle. Yes, so I think everything is okay here. All right. So now the concept which we are going to discuss is multi-programming as you can see here. So, uh, last week, we discussed the topics discuss kare the, wo topics the related again to operating system. We discussed process state diagram, discuss kara hai, kaun -kaun si states hoti hai. we have also covered what is the meaning of scheduling and how the different processes are scheduled on the CPU uh, and considering there the number of scheduling algorithms also like first come, first serve, shortest job first, what is priority scheduling, what is round robin method huh? or we have related numerical questions bhi kare, which is very very important. Okay, So now here extending our discussion today we are going to talk about multi-programming with fixed partition technique. So what is multi-programming with fixed partition technique? We will ek ek point ko bahut achhe se samjhenge. but start karne se pehle, let's first of all see the homework question which was given for the last session and here we go first of all to the homework question before starting off with our any of the discussion further. So this was the homework question given in the last session. Switching the CPU to another process requires to save the state of the old process and loading the new process state. This is called as what? So when you are switching from one user job to another user job, then the previous process every information or you can say previous process state is actually saved somewhere. Now we are loading a new process. Ha na? Pichle process ki sari information ko hum kahi pe save kar rahe hain aur ab hum ek nai process ke saath execution dobara se begin kar rahe hain. Thik hai? Isse kya kehte hain? This is called as context switching. Remember context switching is actually when we switch from one user job to another aur isko humne process scheduling algorithms ke concept mein in the concept of process scheduling, in the concept of various process scheduling algorithms, we have seen this deeply that we are switching from one user job to another as like this, a process is executing process number one, we switch to another job at let's say time 10. So we are switching to process number two. Then let's say at time 16, I'm switching to another process, which is process number three. At time 18, I'm switching to another process, process number four like this. Huh? This is my chart created. So can you see here there are certain number of switchings which are counted and that switching can be marked here like this. This is a switching. That means I'm switching from one user job to another. I am changing one user ki job se, dusri user ki job mein change karke ja rahi. Aur isko hum log kya kehte hain? Isko hum log context switching kehte hain. Yeah? That's what we say context switching. Right? And also, if you remember, जब हमने process scheduling algorithms करे हैं, तो मैंने आपको ये भी बताया है कि इसके ऊपर बच्चे आपको numerical भी पूछा जा सकता है. Uh, scheduling algorithm given and question is asking you that how many context switches are possible, है ना? So question can also ask you to find out the number of context switches. This is also very important. We do have this in previous years of net examination, ठीक है? जैसे यहाँ पर आप count करोगे कितनी बारी आपका process एक job से दूसरे में स्विच हो रहा है, so you can see here P1 से P2 में स्विच हुआ P2 से P3 में स्विच हुआ, P3 से P4 में स्विच हुआ, so these vertical bars which are shaded with green color, you can simply count them and they are counted as number of context switches. So as like here, there are three number of context switches possible. 
okay so numerical question can also come it can also be a theory type of question which we have discussed okay now before starting with the concept of multi programming let's quickly see first of all schedule my lectures on youtube my classes on byju's app and also the link for the telegram channel so yes you all can join telegram group you all know that it's highly important it's highly recommended to all the students to join telegram because definitely all important announcements will be shared with you all on telegram group so bahut sari interesting informations related to the interesting sessions of paper 1 as well as paper 2 will be shared with you all on telegram group so it's very very important to join telegram do not miss this opportunity also everyone please note down the schedule my lectures on youtube and my lectures on byju's app so that because exam is over and we are again starting off with a fresh series hum dobara se preparation journey ko start kar rahe hain concepts clarity se leke questions tak hum log move karenge to hum bahut sari interesting baaton ko karne wale hain so it's important you should join telegram you should join my youtube sessions and by do zap sessions according to the schedule which is defined here and definitely here is one motivational inspirational quote you only fail when you stop trying so yes everyone do not stop trying because if you try then there's a very high probability that you will be successful in your career in your aim okay so here we go now starting off with the concept multi programming with fixed partitions so see pehle to bachche multi programming hota kya hai dhyan se ab aapne yahan pe ek ek chhota chhota point samajhna hai because ye bahut logical cheez hai it's conceptual part okay so multi programming kise kehte hain multi programming basically is to increase the utilization of cpu ki hamara jo uh, cpu hai wo acche se kaam kare ya yeah? cpu hamara acche se utilize ho cpu idle na baithe ha so to increase your cpu utilization a number of jobs are kept ready a number of jobs are kept ready where in the main memory so we are creating a pool of the jobs which are the ready jobs and they are ready inside the main memory so that when cpu demands for a job they can quickly be transferred to the cpu like for example you can see a picture to understand this really better like this is my main memory everyone so if this is my main memory i am creating the pool of the jobs or the queue of the jobs which are ready for execution right now all of these jobs cannot go to cpu at one time yeah we know that one cpu can execute only one job at a time so one job which is existing here which is ready in the main memory will be transferred to the cpu for execution so that definitely it will be processed okay now let us consider that that job which we have transferred to the cpu cannot proceed further maybe that job requires any input output which we have already studied in process state diagram right so maybe that job requires any input output or maybe a uh, job is preempted or maybe job finish right in all the cases cpu will be sitting idle hmm? agar job input output ki wait pe chali gayi ya job ko preempt kar diya gaya ya job khatam ho gayi finish ho gayi exit ho gayi to sare cases mein cpu mera khali ho jayega kyunki job to chali gayi hai na so because cpu is idle can we allow cpu to sit idle no we cannot हम सीपीयू को खाली नहीं रख सकते क्यों नहीं रख सकते बिकॉज हेयर इफ सीपीयू इज सिटिंग आइडल देन नथिंग will be uh, processed and obviously the performance of the system the throughput of the system efficiency of the system these all parameters will come down क्योंकि सीपी तो ब्रेन है ना सीपी तो वर्किंग पार्टी है अगर सीपी काम नहीं करता तो मेरे सिस्टम की परफॉर्मेंस एफिशिएंसी थ्रूपुट ये सारे पैरामीटर्स जो परफॉर्मेंस पैरामीटर्स हैं वो डिग्रेड हो जाएंगे है ना मुझे उनको डिग्रेड नहीं करना सो व्हाट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन पुट अ नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स रेडी हियर इन द मेन मेमरी सो दैट वेन वन जॉब overs or when one job is going for input output or when one job is preempted then cpu should not sit idle and we pick up another job from the ready queue transfer it to the cpu 
है ना तो वो हम क्यों कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हमें सी की यूटिलाइजेशन को अच्छा करना है इसीलिए मैंने पहले ही लिख दिया कि हमारा एम क्या है मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग हम क्यों करते हैं मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग में हम बहुत सारी जॉब्स को रेडी करके मेन मेमोरी में रख रहे हैं पर हम ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हैं क्योंकि सी को हम खाली नहीं बिठाना चाहते वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट सी टू सेट आइडल या वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट सी टू सेट आइडल वी वॉन्ट सी पी यू टू बी ऑपरेशनल बिकॉज विद द वर्किंग ऑफ सी पी यू द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द सिस्टम द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द सिस्टम द थ्रू फुट ऑफ द सिस्टम दैट ऑल इज डिपेंडेंट ओके राइट सो ना वॉट इज फिक्स पार्टिशन टेक्निक बच्चे फिक्स पार्टिशन टेक्निक सी वी हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग एज द कॉन्टिन्यूस मेमरी एलोकेशन and we also have non continuous memory allocation so we do have the concept of continuous memory allocation and non continuous memory allocation now what is the difference here between continuous memory allocation and non continuous pehle in do words ko samajhte hain so bachche pehla word maine bola we have continuous memory allocation and the second concept is we have non continuous memory allocation right what is the difference continuous memory allocation ka matlab hai that one job will be stored completely in one partition of the memory right ek job ek sath ek partition ke upar save ho jayegi memory ke andar theek hai matlab ek job jaise ye meri memory hai to memory mein jab aapne partitions banaye to memory ke ek partition mein ek puri job aayegi main job ke partitions nahi kar rahi hu main memory ke partitions kar rahi hu theek hai and non continuous concept is just the opposite where we can divide the job also let's say i have this job job number 1 job number 1 can also be partitioned and these partitions which we are creating for job number 1 they can be so stored non continuously in the memory matlab ye partitions like partition 1 partition 2 partition 3 partition 4 partition 5 inhe mai memory ke alag alag jagahon pe rakh sakti hu राइट right? ये आप नॉन कॉन्टिन्यूस में रखते हो नॉन कॉन्टिन्यूस का मतलब समझते हो ना एक साथ नहीं रख रहे हो आप किसी को कहीं किसी को कहीं किसी को कहीं ऐसे प्लेस कर रहे हो और कॉन्टिन्यूस एलोकेशन ये कहता है कि पूरी की पूरी जॉब मेमोरी के एक हिस्से के ऊपर आएगी आप जॉब को अलग अलग स्प्रेड नहीं कर सकते हो राइट ओके सो दिस इज वॉट आर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वर्ड कॉन्टिन्यूस एंड नॉन कॉन्टिन्यूस सो हैव यूज हेयर द टू वर्ड्स कॉन्टिन्यूस एर टू टेक्निक्स हेयर continuous and non continuous so in continuous the process must be loaded entirely in the main memory एक प्रोसेस पूरा का पूरा मेमोरी में एक जगह पर है जैसे जॉब नंबर वन पूरी की पूरी मेरी मेमोरी के एक हिस्से के अंदर एग्जिस्ट करती है ठीक है अब दिस कॉन्टिन्यूस मेमोरी एलोकेशन इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स एवरीवन एंड द टू पार्ट्स एग्जिस्टिंग फॉर कॉन्टिन्यूस मेमोरी एलोकेशन आर एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग विद फिक्सड पार्टिशन that's what we have to study here ha huh? and the second part is multi programming with variable partitions might be possible that we are creating fixed partitions of the memory fixed size partitions of the memory or second we are creating the variable sized partitions of the memory ha huh? na partitions ya to hum log एक ही साइज के बना रहे हैं एक साइज का मतलब इक्वल नहीं होता एक साइज का मतलब आपने साइज को फिक्स कर दिया ठीक है या फिर आप पार्टीशन वेरिएबल साइज के क्रिएट करो सो नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू स्पेसिफिकली स्टडी व्हाट इज फिक्स पार्टीशन टेक्निक दिस टॉपिक आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग टूमोरो yeah this is a topic for tomorrow we today have to cover what is multi programming with fixed partition so yes everyone what i said you that continuous memory allocation the concept of continuous memory allocation has two things one is we can create fixed partitions which are also called as static partitions and second is we can also have variable partitions known as dynamic partition so there are two types of partitions which can be created here right okay now understanding what is fixed partition fixed partition is the technique where the partitions are not of same size i am not saying ki fix partition ka matlab hota hai equal size no i am not saying not of equal size they are not of equal size they are not of equal size the size is fixed 
मतलब मेमोरी का जो पार्टीशन बना है वो पार्टीशन का साइज फिक्स है आपको जॉब को एज पर पार्टीशन प्लेस करना पड़ेगा सारे पार्टीशन का साइज सेम नहीं है इक्वल नहीं है ठीक है एक एग्जांपल ले सकते हो हमारा घर है ठीक है घर का जब जो है क्रिएट होता है नक्शा बनता है या फिर जब आपके घर का आर्किटेक्चर क्रिएट किया जाता है तो उस आर्किटेक्चर के अंदर क्या सारे बेडरूम्स का या सारे जो भी आपके घर के अंदर पार्टीशन बने हैं वो सारे सेम साइज के होते हैं नो है ना माइट बी ड्राइंग एरिया इज लार्जर माइट बी अ बेडरूम इज लार्जर माइट बी किचन कंपेरेटिवली स्मॉलर वॉशरूम कंपेरेटिवली स्मॉलर है ना बालकनी एरिया हैज अ डिफरेंट पार्टीशन सो दैट इज फिक्सड है ना वो फिक्सड है आर्किटेक्चर के हिसाब से वो फिक्सड है और उनका साइज फिक्स हो गया इक्वल नहीं हुआ Got it? Size fix है, size equal नहीं है, so, ये difference होता है equal और fix के अंदर so, fix partition technique is one of the oldest type of technique which is existing and here in this concept the fixed means fixed in size but may not be same same means equal I am not saying they are of equal size no absolutely not I am not saying they are equal size I am saying the size is fixed मतलब memory के जो partitions बने वो fixed size के हैं जैसे कि let's take an example to understand this concept so example I am giving you drawn a picture like this so this is my partition created here in the memory and for these partitions everyone you can say this is my memory okay this is my memory systems memory a portion of the memory is given to operating system then I have another partition created है ना ये थोड़ी सी partition हमने create करा example ले लो कि ये जो partition है इसका जो size है वो hundred के भी है ठीक है फिर second partition मेरे पास create हुआ इस partition का जो size है ये हमारे पास two eighty के भी का partition है third partition हमारे पास create हुआ let us consider that this partition is of size one twenty के भी so can you see the sizes are not same है ना ये हंड्रेड के भी है ये टू एटी के भी है ये वन ट्वेंटी के भी है बट बट इनका जो पार्टीशन का साइज है वो फिक्स है कि पार्टीशन वन हंड्रेड के बी का ही होगा पार्टीशन टू टू एटी के बी का ही होगा पार्टीशन थ्री वन ट्वेंटी के बी का ही होगा दिस इज फिक्सड नॉट इक्वल वॉट इट ना वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ हैविंग these type of partitions the purpose of having these type of partitions are now we can load the jobs as per the requirement matlab jitni requirement hai uske hisab se main job ko yahan pe place kar sakti hu hai na let us consider that i have partition number 1 which is of size 100 kb as i have written here partition number 2 of size 280 kb partition number 3 of size 120 kb now there is a job which wants to get loaded here and that is my job number 1 the size of job number 1 is equal to 80 kb the size of job number 1 is equal to 80 kb so now 80 kb space has to be given to job number 1 but in order to allot the space to job number 1 there are two techniques generally which we follow and what what are the two techniques which we generally follow to allot a space to a job that is first technique known as first fit Yes, and the second technique which is called as best fit. कुछ authors worst fit भी देते हैं but generally हम लोग दो techniques के बारे में बात करते हैं in the concept of fixed partition. मतलब job number वन को जो space मिलेगी वो या तो first fit algorithm के हिसाब से मिलेगी या best fit के हिसाब से मिलेगी है ना Now you know that what is the meaning of first fit? It simple means first block of memory which is free. Yeah, the first free block of memory. The first free block of memory, definitely that block of memory must have size equal to or greater than the requirement. Like here, job number one requires eighty KB. So I'll be looking into that partition which has size greater than or equal to eighty. है ना अगर जॉब की रिक्वायरमेंट 80 के बी है तो मुझे देखना है कि मेरा पार्टीशन 80 या 80 के बी से ज्यादा का होना चाहिए हाँ पहला ब्लॉक पर वो फ्री होना चाहिए ठीक है एंड बेस्ट फिट ऑब्वियसली आई विल सर्च द कंप्लीट मेमोरी सो दैट आई शुड हैव मिनिमम वेस्टेज या सो हियर विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग कंप्लीट मेमरी यस 
he here will be exploding the complete memory so that it should have minimum wastage okay wastage kam ho हमारी मेमोरी की स्पेस कम से कम वेस्ट हो इसलिए हम पूरी की पूरी मेमोरी को पहले सर्च करेंगे कि कहाँ पर हमारी वेस्टेज कम से कम होती है ओके राइट सो नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर फर्स्ट फिट एल गोरथम सो फर्स्ट ब्लॉक ऑफ मेमोरी व्हिच इज फ्री व्हिच हैज साइज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू और लार्जर देन डेफिनेटली द जॉब्स रिक्वायरमेंट लाइक लाइक जॉब नंबर वन से इज ए टी के बी हेयर आई हैव पार्टिशन नंबर वन विच हैज 100 के बी स्पेस हाँ पार्टिशन नंबर वन के पास 100 के बी की जगह है आई एम सेइंग पार्टिशन नंबर वन इज ऑफ 100 के बी सो नाउ इन दिस 100 के बी स्पेस आई कैन पुट जॉब नंबर वन विच हैज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ 80 के बी जॉब नंबर वन ए टी के बी का है जो कि हंड्रेड से छोटा है तो डेफिनेटली इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट को फुलफिल कर सकता है मैं पार्टिशन नंबर वन के अंदर ए टी के बी की जॉब नंबर वन को प्लेस कर रही हूँ सो आई एम पुटिंग हेयर जॉब नंबर वन विच इज इक्वल टू ए टी के बी बट हाउ मच स्पेस डू आई टोटल हैव इन पार्टिशन नंबर वन आई हैव अ टोटल स्पेस एग्जिस्टिंग फॉर हंड्रेड के बी इन पार्टिशन नंबर वन दिस मीन्स because i have a total space of 100 kb and job number 1 is only occupying 80 kb let's take an example this is my lecture hall right in this lecture hall i have a space of uh, 50 students mere hmm? mera ye lecture hall hai let us consider ye ek lecture hall hai aur isme 50 bachon ke baithne ki space hai 50 students can sit here in this lecture hall let us consider at present i have only 40 students sitting here Uh, the total space existing is equal to 50 students. Uh, total space 50 बच्चों के बैठने की है बट अभी प्रेजेंटली सिर्फ फोर्टी स्टूडेंट बैठे हैं ओनली फोर्टी स्टूडेंट आर सेटिंग सो माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज दैट वॉट इज है टू दैट स्पेस विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर टेन स्टूडेंट वो दस बच्चों की स्पेस का क्या होगा Yes, everyone. Reply here in the comment. Reply here in the chat. जल्दी से अगर 50 बच्चों की स्पेस है लेक्चर के हॉल में और मेरी क्लास में सिर्फ 40 बच्चे बैठे हैं तो 10 बच्चों की स्पेस मेरे पास अभी फ्री है ओके पर अब उस 10 बच्चों की स्पेस का क्या होगा कैन आई अलॉट दैट स्पेस टू समवन एल्स या और दैट इज जस्ट अ वेस्टेज वेरी गुड अपन दई अनिता टू रिप्लाईज That is a wastage, definitely, because 10 बच्चों की स्पेस में किसी और को नहीं दे सकती हूँ इट्स अ प्योर वेस्टेज सो बिकॉज दैट टेन स्टूडेंट स्पेस इज अ वेस्टेज सो सेम लॉजिक एप्लीकेबल हेयर इफ पार्टिशन नंबर वन हैज अ स्पेस ऑफ हंड्रेड के बी एंड माई जॉब नंबर वन इज ओनली ऑक्यूपाइंग एटी के बी सो आई डू हैव अ पेंडिंग स्पेस एग्जिस्टिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी के बीज Yeah, I do have a pending space existing for 20 kb because I have a space existing for 20 kb. Still, I cannot give it to anyone. This 20 kb space is just a wastage. Yes, this is a pure wastage because this cannot be allotted to anyone. मैं किसी को नहीं दे सकती हूँ या तो मैं इसको पूरा का पूरा दूंगी मतलब ये मेरा अगर 50 बच्चों का लेक्चर हॉल था या तो 50 का 50 मैं पूरा अलॉट कर दूंगी राइट या फिर मैं इसमें से एक हिस्सा यूज कर रही हूँ पर जो पेंडिंग स्पेस बच रही है उसको मैं किसी के साथ शेयर नहीं कर सकती है ना उसको मैं किसी के साथ शेयर नहीं कर सकती क्योंकि मैं शेयर नहीं कर सकती तो ट्वेंटी के बी की जो स्पेस है वो प्योर वेस्टेज हो रही है एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेंटेंस टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अ वेस्टेज एवरीवन राइट नाउ दिस वेस्टेज इज हैपनिंग इन साइड हंड्रेड के बी Yes, this wastage is happening inside hundred KB. You all can see this, है ना? सौ KB की जगह थी मेरे पास. इस सौ KB की जगह के अंदर मैं eighty KB की job को place कर रही हूँ. मैं hundred KB की space पूरी नहीं use कर रही हूँ. Because मैं hundred KB की space पूरी नहीं use कर रही हूँ, तो मेरी बाकी की जो space है, वो waste हो रही है. 
right and because this is wasted and this wasted is inside 100 kb that is why we call this as internal fragmentation matlab memory ke tukde kare hain राइट right? और जितना हिस्सा चाहिए था उतना ले लिया बाकी का वेस्ट हो गया ओके सो अब मेमोरी जो है वो वेस्ट हो रही है बिकॉज मेमोरी मेरी ज्यादा है जो आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट कम है सो इंटरनल फ्रेगमेंटेशन बेसिकली तब होती है जब आपकी मेमोरी बड़ी है और जॉब की रिक्वायरमेंट कम है राइट दिस वेस्टेज इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल फ्रेगमेंटेशन एंड प्लीज नोट डाउन एवरी that this type of fragmentation occurs when memory is larger and we have the process requirement smaller got it here memory allotted to the process is larger then the memory requested job is requesting only 80 kb but we are allotting it 100 kb okay so i can say memory allotted is larger than memory requested job requested memory of 80 kb we are allotting it 100 kb obviously there is a difference hai na because memory allotted here is equal to 100 kb memory requested here is equal to 80 kb right so when allotment is larger compared to that of the request in that case the difference between them is called as internal fragmentation okay the difference between allotted and requested memory yes the difference between allotted and requested memory is called what is called internal fragmentation so this is the technical definition of internal fragmentation and this is what the problem we suffer in case of fixed partitions of the memory so whenever we are creating fixed partition we have this type of issue occurring here in the memory which is called as internal fragmentation yes everyone so waiting for your replies waiting for the confirmation so that we can proceed to the advantages and disadvantages always remember multi programming with fixed partition technique suffers from a problem which is internal fragmentation this can be a question simple straight question in the paper logical conceptual question okay clear very nice right so we can conclude here everyone that whenever we have fixed partitions then fixed partitions technique always suffer from a problem which is called as internal fragmentation so ye bhi question pucha ja sakta hai internal fragmentation kahan par hoti hai ye aapko yaad rakhna padega always internal fragmentation hamesha hamare concept mein hoti hai jahan par fixed partitions honge to ye ye fix hai ye static hai ki internal fragmentation ki problem always in multi programming with fixed partition yes multi programming with fixed partitions they suffers from a problem which is called as internal fragmentation right so question aa sakta hai ye aapko paper mein problem kaun si hoti hai internal fragmentation chaliye let's understand some of the advantages and disadvantages existing for this concept but before we proceed to advantages and disadvantages everyone press the button like mark your attendance all the students who have not pressed the button like quickly mark your attendance yes please so uh, i have one announcement for you as well before proceeding further let's let's see what is the announcement so one general session amazing general session i'll be conducting on sunday yes please 
on sunday so we will be conducting one session best books for ugc net computer science examination what books you can refer i'm taking this session on sunday everyone in the morning 10 am and this lecture will be on youtube yes please note down this coming sunday 30th of october yes please 30th of october sunday 10 am in the morning on youtube we'll be discussing what are the best best books for ugc net so we'll see all the reference books also we'll see other helping books which can help you to qualify the paper right jahan se aap bahut sari practice kar sakte hain ya fir aap content study kar sakte hain because abhi next paper jo hai usme bahut zyada time hai so you have surplus time to prepare yourself so it's very very important that you should read the reference books you should read the content because you have to make your concept very very stronger right so what are the reference books for each of the subjects which are uh, preferred okay so wo hum log dekhenge do not miss this interesting session it will definitely help you okay to the advantages everyone what are the advantages first is it is quite easy to implement fixed partition technique is always easy to implement this is quite easy to implement it's easy to create partitions also ha na because here it simply requires putting a process into a certain partition without focusing on emergence of internal and external fragmentation ab external fragmentation kya hota hai ये हम लोग कल पढ़ेंगे विल स्टडी दिस टॉपिक टू मोरो वॉट इज एक्सटर्नल फ्रेगमेंटेशन बट एनी हाउ इट्स क्वाइट इजी यू जस्ट हैव टू पिक अप अ जॉब प्लेस इट इन टू द पार्टिशन ऑफ द मेमरी depending upon whether we are talking about the first fit or we are talking about the west fit so uske hisab se aap partition mein job ko place kar doge without bothering of anything simple concept hai bahut zyada so implementation is quite easy along with that here the overhead of the operating system is definitely lesser fixed partitions always require less power so operating system ki energy kam lag rahi hai operating system ko overhead nahi hai sir dardi nahi hai partitions ke sath deal karna so it's quite a simple part so this is also one of a major advantage we have very little operating system over overhead here so because partitions they are uh, using less power lesser computational power lesser uh, power is needed so operating system is not overburdened executing the fixed partitions right so operating system ke liye bhi easy hota hai jab variable partitions ho jate hain so operating system ko bahut zyada workload uske upar karna padta hai ha na okay also the disadvantages these were some of the advantages which were existing here advantages for fixed partition technique right now let us consider what are certain disadvantages existing so disadvantages first important disadvantage which we have already covered that is internal fragmentation right we all know about internal fragmentation internal fragmentation is one of a major disadvantage which is existing for fixed partition technique because you know that the allotted memory and the requested memory size they are different right so we can say that allotted memory size yes allotted memory size is greater than requested memory size so when the allotted memory size is greater then the requested memory size then it can lead to internal fragmentation which is one of a major disadvantage existing in fixed partition so multi programming with fixed partition always suffer from the uh, internal fragmentation and this is obviously wastage of space ha na humne 20 kb ki jo space hai waste kar di to internal fragmentation ki wajah se hamare paas space jo hai wo waste ho rahi hai got it due to internal fragmentation indirectly we have wastage of space also there is one more disadvantage which is limit the process size that means process of size greater than the space available in the memory cannot be accommodated for example jaise humne partition dekha bachche last uh, example ke andar humne partition dekha 100 kb ka size tha hai na to agar 100 kb ka partition hai so kya 100 kb ka partition 100 kb se zyada ki job ko rakh sakta hai no i am bounded here that i can only keep a job which has size less than equal to 100 kb 
है ना द साइज ऑफ जॉब शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू जॉब साइज शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू हंड्रेड के बी सो आई एम बाउंडेड बाय बिकॉज प्रोसेस ऑफ साइज ग्रेटर देन द साइज ऑफ पार्टीशन कैन नॉट बी अकोमोडेटेड राइट बिकॉज पार्टीशन कैन नॉट चेंज आई कैन नॉट चेंज हंड्रेड के बी पार्टीशन कैन नॉट गेट चेंज सो हेयर द पार्टीशन आर फिक्सड they cannot get change so job has to adjust itself according to the partitions ha na job ko adjustment karni hai partitions adjustment nahi karni right this is one of major disadvantage again partition size cannot be varied according to the size of the incoming process size so partitions because why they cannot vary reason because partitions are fixed that is why we we studied initially we started with the word fixed partitions hai na to partitions fix hai kyunki partitions fix hai partitions vary nahi karne wale aur kyunki partitions vary nahi karne wale so definitely here this is one of again a disadvantage exist yes in today's session everyone we have seen what is multi programming with fixed partition concept and again before winding up the session let me tell you that tomorrow we'll be continuing this discussion only and we'll be talking about multi programming with variable partitions variable partitions are also possible we can have partitions of different different sizes hai na and also partitions can change their size ye jo disadvantage hai na ki aap partitions ko change nahi kar sakte matlab agar 100 kb ka partition hai to wo 100 kb ka hi rahega aap 100 se 80 nahi kar sakte 100 se 120 nahi kar सकते है ना बट इस डिसएडवांटेज को हम लोग नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट में भी रिजोल्व कर पाएंगे जहां पर हम लोग वेरिएबल पार्टीशन के कॉन्सेप्ट को पढ़ेंगे सो डू नॉट फॉर गेट यू ऑल हैव टू ज्वाइन टूमोरो अगेन एट द सेम टाइम इन द मॉर्निंग 11 एम बट बिफोर वाइंडिंग अप विदेशन फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट एवरी वन सो फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट एज आई सेट यू प्लीज नोट डाउन आई बी मीटिंग यू संडे ऑन Thirtieth of October, in the morning, ten a.m. for this special session, which will help all the students. Best books for UGC NET Computer Science examination. What reference books you can study? Huh? Because now is a lot of time. So reference books, now you can study for next preparation cycle. Next cycle, for preparing. Okay, right. So important is to watch this session. Also, children, please note down. You can. call you can get free counseling and assistance you can download byju's app you can call helpline number agar aapko kuch bhi guidance chahiye to aap helpline numbers pe call kar sakte hain aap definitely um, jo hai app pe check kar sakte hain for any of the query you can contact us so that you, your query will get resolved also bache very important join the mega workshop by toshiba ma'am on 28th of october so 28th of october kal शाम को आठ बजे तो शिबा मैम बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सा सेशन लेगी जहाँ पे शील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट आर द प्रूवन टिप्स टू क्रैक नेट इन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आप कैसे क्वालिफाई कर सकते हैं यूजीसी नेट एग्जामिनेशन को पहले अटेम्प्ट के अंदर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज अभी आप दोबारा से प्रिपरेशन जर्नी स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं है ना सो so, अभी इंपॉर्टेंट है ये ये चीज़ों को समझना सो दैट यू विल फॉलो दैट ट्रैक फॉर नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव मंथस है ना टू क्वालिफाई द एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड ये एवरी जय श्री ओपन द ऐप ओपन द ऐप बाय जूस एग्जाम प्रेप ओपन करो वहां पर आपको मिल जाएंगे ऐप सेशन फ्री वीडियोज के अंदर होते हैं ठीक है ओके यस एवरी वन फाइनली बिफोर गोइंग होमवर्क क्वेश्चन विच विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन टू मोरो सेशन तो ये होमवर्क है आपका रिप्लाई करना है कॉमेंट के अंदर मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग किसे कहते हैं मैंने बिल्कुल स्टार्टिंग में मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग का मतलब बताया था सेशन के बिगनिंग के अंदर राइट सो मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग क्या होता है वॉट इज मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग हैव टू चूज आउट ऑफ दीज फोर ऑप्शन एंड रिप्लाई द कॉमेंट बॉक्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग दिस इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू सो वेरी मच एवरी वन सी यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट lecture tomorrow at the same time in the morning 11 am so do not miss because hum bahut interesting discussions kar rahe hain concept clarity kar rahe hain so kal main dobara same time pe milungi and yes before going everyone do not forget to like the session do not forget to share the session with your friends as much as you can thank you so very much god bless you lots of love stay connected bye bye take care